Hey everyone, this is Gnomebot Master here. Welcome to the daytime tour for the city of Egret. Alright, so as soon as you come in, we've got Egret City Laboratory over here. And we've got some apartments over here along with Ian's armor on the first floor. There's Ian's armor. Here's like one of the little apartments. Doesn't look like anybody lives here yet. Or they just don't have a lot of stuff. <laughs> Here's the main entrance to the apartment complex. So we can go up to the third floor and check one out real quick. So, looks like these are not the nicest apartments, but kind of have a nice view over here. This is the road that takes you back in the Diamond City. There's the city over here. Alright. Let's go check out some other areas in the city. This is actually a pretty cool entrance right here. Uh, this is the water tower entrance. And this is basically our eastern, east entrance. That's what it looks like from the outside. It's heavily guarded by uh, turrets, and there's also a guard up here on the uh, third floor, and they watch over that area as well. Let's go check out Egret City Gym. I posted about this before. I posted a lot about a lot of these buildings over here actually. There's only a few I have not yet. This is the gym. And then upstairs there's apartments. I experimented with this building when I built it. I tried to use a different texture instead of uh, the wood walls. I used the brick. I didn't really like it so I never did it again. So this is like the main street when you walk into the city. This is the tallest building here. Uh, this building I actually fit perfectly inside of this uh, building that was destroyed by the bombs. So it's kind of nice because it's technically five stories and it incorporates one story of the original building into it, which is this area here. And this is, I've kind of just turned this into an office for uh, the mayor. So, and uh, I've made uh, Phyllis Daly, Mayor Daly of the town or the city. There's the upstairs area. Some or all of you may have heard of that old Parsons Asylum. This kind of looks like a little guard tower. I like it. I wish I could assign someone to that. And then here's the I elevator the area, the, this one, the first floor apartment. These apartments are a little bit nicer than the you other one. The um, we're going to go check out other areas in the city though. So here's where the city kind of turns into the boardwalk. Um, it's uh, built over the three original piers that were here. So like here's the old ship that was uh, Sticking out of the water when you first settle here. There's the hotel. Slocum Joe, some more apartments. This is the boardwalk bar and grill. And then uh, this is the power and storage building. Let's go check out power and storage. This has the cafeteria down here as well. The uh, Edotronic. The cafeteria has another exit over here. Here's the water. Nice view of the bridge. Let's go up a floor and explore a little bit. So. The power and storage building has a little apartment for the guy that runs the 
power area upstairs and he's in charge of storage as well. He's the person that you have to check out supplies with if you're a vendor for the city. So all the vendors check out their supplies through him and they get them from this room here is where everything is stored. So he kind of has two jobs and then the station where he sits is up here. He's not here right now though. But this is the station. Here's the power. And this powers the whole city. And let's go check out some other areas. So this is the first shop in the city. I've posted about this as well. Vote House General. <coughs> Vote House General has a uh, uh, a nice little layout because it's built inside of one of the original structures in the settlement. So I felt like a general shop suited it well. This little knocked over shelf can't be scrapped so I decided to use it for plants instead. I figured that looked nice there. Um, and there's the vendor here. My first that vendor for the settlement. There's a clothing shop across the way. And then here's some apartments I kind of built up into the wall over here. They have kind of an interesting entrance. I built these stairs right here so I can kind of go up on the roof and stuff because I just wanted to be able to uh, access the settlers when they get stuck up here. <laughs> these little houses and then let's check out the lab real quick there's the lab there's we can go into the VR machine there's the elevator to go upstairs and that's pretty much it guys and keep in mind, if you uh, follow me, or if you, this is the first time you see my videos, I also post a nighttime version of my tours as well. So stay tuned for that. And keep in mind, guys, uh, if you want to take a look at my mods list for this city, um, we can look at that right now. So... The other thing that I'm big on is I actually do not use any mods when I build my settlements. So what you guys see here today you can actually build using just the uh, vanilla game content, the DLCs, and Creation Club content. So you guys have a good day and I will see you all next time.